live in Grass Pass. He lives in Rogue River. So I had to drive down the freeway a little bit further and met him at a market. Following Dustin out of his place, out of Gravel Road. Really smoky out and it's hot, which is not what I was expecting. But it is what it is. All right, so tell me where we are right now. <laughs> the other side. The cops come and snatched my crops. We're in uh, Oregon, out in the hills. The drug dealers lease this property from somebody I know. And you're allowed to grow 48 plants if you have all your ducks in a row, and they didn't have them in a row, so the cops came out and pulled them all out. They left four because the homeowner's allowed to have four. They left the four little scrawniest ones. They threw the cages off and the deer ate all the, all the good stuff. These were the babies. You're allowed 48. Juveniles, meaning they haven't quite budded yet. Well, they let these start to bud, so now they had 96 plants. The babies got thrown into bags, and the big ones they hauled off and shared with all their cop buddies, I guess. You want to go look at one? Yeah. They're down here. See the stumps? We put the cages back just to try to save them, I guess. I don't know why. He's starting to bud, but the deer didn't get that one too bad. You could see over here. The deer ate all the good shit off of it. The deer were having a party. You could smell it. Yeah, and there's little nugs on there, but nothing to write home about. Sticky. Whew, wow. Check out the root on this one. Like some bonsai looking thing. Hey, they left some leaves behind here. And some bud if you want it. Still green. Quick, smoke it. Ah, oh, it's got a seed. Save that for next year. <laughs> 1,500 gallon water tank. There's a 2,500 gallon one up in the trees over there. They'd ship water in every day. That's gotta be expensive. This 2,500 gallon water tank. There's still over 2,000 gallons of water in it. Go for a swim. Good luck getting out. Those, Those are the there. greenhouses. They had, the, they had generators up here. They'd run the fans and I mean the dirt. It's $100 a yard. He figured there's two yards a box, 48 boxes. It's $10,000 worth of dirt. And then the, who knows what they paid to build the boxes. They paid somebody to sit here and make sure the deer don't eat it. The cages, he figured there's 48 of these. I don't know how much one costs, but I'm sure it ain't cheap. They make a mess. We gotta clean all this up. There's food or something in there. It doesn't smell good. Whatever you do, don't open any of the ice chests. But you can see they got, there was nine plants. And those are supposed to be juveniles. They were probably this tall. They were probably as tall as the ones they left. The ones they cut out were probably 10 foot. Like I said, they, one plant would take up almost the whole container. And we're, we're out in the middle of not nowhere. There's, there's houses around here, but not very many. They actually had cameras in the trees. And the, the guy that was leasing the property would text pictures of, who's this on my property? You know, it's not his property, but he would text the homeowner pictures. So he was able to sit here, somehow do it wirelessly. And there's no power up here except generators, so they must have had it on some kind of a battery system. And he'd get a text message when someone walked on the property and he could start watching, he could talk to you. People from the trees who, hey, what are you doing out here? They invested a lot of money, but they lost their ass on this one. <laughs> yeah, the tent was up, the tent's up here. You wanna walk up there, I don't know. He had a dog and he would tie it up at the garden hose when he'd leave. He'd leave for a few hours a day to go into town to do laundry or whatever. And he'd leave the dog tied up. And it was a big pit bull, so it didn't take much for the dog to get loose. But he never ran off. That's a turkey feather? Yeah, turkey feather, but he, wild turkeys out here, bunches and bunches of them. Jackrabbits, coyotes, fox, cougar, bear, the little things, you know. The guy that was living here, he said that 
he found a couple baby turkeys and he put them in his tent when he left because he was afraid the dog was going to eat them. And he came back and his tent was all ripped to shreds and the turkeys were gone. Oh, something ripped up my tent. He was like, yeah, it's called Mama Turkey. You don't lock your babies in a tent. Turkeys are mean. <clears throat> it's not too smoky today, but it's smoky. Smoky enough.